Differential payer creation has now been simplified within Proteus. Once placed and wired on the schematic, we must set up the differential pair using the configurator dialog. This is launched from the right click context menu of a diff pair wire. We begin by naming the diff pair, or an existing one, and then specify the start and end components. Selecting a diff pair pin from the start device will automatically fill the corresponding pin from the end device. Now our diff pair is fully defined and we can save and exit. Perhaps a more common situation is where there are other components such as diodes or resistors on the diff pair signal lines. Here the configuration is nearly identical as we begin selecting the pins. This time though the pass through components appear in the middle along with a question mark. The question mark means they have been detected automatically rather than specified manually with the Manage Pass 3 button, and so should be checked against the schematic. If you prefer, you can define the pass-through pins of the device manually. If you add pass-through components after the setup, just go back in and redo the configuration to include the new pass-through components. What we are setting up with the configurator is the signal path from source to receiver. Any pass-through components with two pins on one or both lines of the diff pair needs to be included. A branch component or a shunt terminator is not a pass-through and so is ignored by the configurator. Having set up our differential pair, we're ready to switch to the layout and set up design rules and route the tracks.